and welcome to Blender Savage. All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to model Pikachu. Very easy, very basic uh, for beginners. So let me show you here. So first, what you wanna do is go on the internet, find a, pic a picture of Pikachu. Uh, once you find the picture, save it somewhere your computer, uh, preferably the desktop, be, it will be easier to find. And then you hit the end key and you get this panel here, transform properties panel. You're gonna scroll all the way down towards the bottom of the panel, where those end for Nancy. Look for background images, there it is. Uh, click on that box to the left of it to activate it. Boom, got the check mark there. And I'm gonna click on a little triangle right here, the expand icon, boom. And I'm gonna click on add image. All right, I'm gonna hit open. And then my Pikachu pictures on my desktop. So I'm gonna go to desktop here from the left side, double click desktop, navigate my way to my desktop, there it is. Here's Pikachu, double click. All right, so I brought it in. I can't see it right now because you can't see it in perspective view or in this user view or in a user view. So for now, um, I'm going to tuck this away. Hit the end key for Nancy. All right, hit one for front view, five for ortho. And there it is. There's my Pikachu there. All right, so Pikachu uh, tends to be square. Sorry, tends to be a uh, circular, round, spherical. So I'm going to delete this square here. So X delete key, delete. Boom. All right, uh, preferably if I could have found the picture that had the uh, T-pose, I would have gone with that, where the arms were sticking out, and maybe the uh, feet were pointing out. You wanna go with something like that, something where you can uh, see all the different parts of the of the uh, your critter's uh, anatomy, where you can see like the limbs sticking out, sorry, the limbs, you can see the limbs sticking out, the legs sticking out, so right here they're kinda inward, so it'll be a little more challenging to model, but we can make it happen, we can still model it. But a T-pose would be the uh, preferable uh, pose of your Pikachu, or if you had one with uh, the blueprints of Pikachu, so, like, so you can see the right view of it, the back view of it, top, bottom view, that also would help out with modeling. Because now the rest of it, we're just gonna have to try to guess it. All right, so we're gonna bring in a UV sphere, shift A, mesh, UV sphere. There it is, hit G for grab, try to put it here in the center of the face, left click to drop it, decimal key on the number pad to zoom in center. Make sure the decimal key on the number pad, not the one over here by your letters, because that's gonna change down here. Let me show you guys. See, we don't want that. I'm gonna go back to medium point. So make sure I'm medium point, at least for now. All right, so I'm gonna make this transparent. I hit the Z key for the wireframe. Cool. S for scale, and then move the mouse away and try to get about the size of the head. Uh, looks kind of good. Let me bring it up here higher on the top part. And there we go. So I still gotta make the cheeks. So I'm gonna take this into edit mode. So tab key, I'm in edit mode. A to deselect, and I'm gonna select this loop right here. Hold on the alternate key and right click on the actual edge itself. So on the edge, which we would be the wire, not the dot, not the vertex. So I'm gonna click on the edge. Hold on the alternate key, right click there. Here we go. Now I wanna scale this out, but I gotta turn on the proportional editing tool. So if I just hit S and then move out, it's gonna look kinda sharp. I don't want that, I want it to look round. So I'm gonna go down here, the gray button here, select enable. There we go, I'm gonna hit S for scale. I got this white circle, it's like the area of influence. Yeah, it looks like a good size right there because I can spin the mouse wheel and change the size of it. And then I can move the mouse to pull out the um, the mesh. That's pretty good right there. That seems to line up with that. Top part, uh, we can leave it like that. But if you want to scale it up, just select one of these. Um, you want to scale it out, select one of those vert one of the edges. Do an edge selection. Hold on the alternate key. Right click the edge. S for scale. Pull the mouse. Cool, that looks neater. There you go. Left click. There we go. That looks good right there. Tab key for object mode. Z for solid view. There we go. So you got the face going. I'm going to smooth this out. Smooth. There we go. We can create a color for it. A yellow Pikachu color. So I'm going to go over here to the properties panel. Make it a little wider. Hover your mouse over the left edge of the panel. So you get a double sided arrow. And you can hold on the left mouse button and drag it out. Here's materials. This orange BMW logo or has an hourglass or a black widow icon, whatever you want to call that, that's the materials icon. I think it's supposed to be a marble. I'm gonna hit new. And then right here I can uh, click in there, materials.001 and rename it or double click in there and rename it as well. So what you want to name your materials. That way it's easier to keep track of them. So I'm gonna call this one yellow. Oops, not yet code, yellow, yellow. All right. And then down here inside the white run the rectangle below the fuse, left click in there and you'll get a white rounded rectangle. Your first click didn't work because you might still be in there inside the, the naming entry field. All right, go look for yellow color. Oh, cool, that looks good. Looks like I got it on the first try. 
Let's make this brighter. Let's jack this up in here. There we go. Looks like a good yellow. The speculars would be this little reflective area. You have a really shiny Pikachu. He wears a lot of lotion or something. And polish them up. All right. So there we go. Hit the Z key again. Now let's make the uh, the rosy cheeks here. So they're also circular. So I'm gonna bring them some spheres. And then I'm gonna use a boolean tool to cut out a part of it so I can make these uh, these cheeks here. So I'm gonna do Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. All right, G for grab. Try to place it right in the center there. Here we go, move a mouse away from it. S for scale and bring it downward. G for grab, just keep adjusting it. Try to get the size of the cheeks there. Remember that is at an angle. So it doesn't have to be exactly like it. It'll be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna set for top view. It's easy for solid view. It's all the way in there. So this bottom here, this bottom part here, that's the front of the Pikachu. The one in front of you. That's this right here, it's in for top of you. Now it's down there. I want to move this forward so it's in front of the face. So about there, one for front view. See for wireframe, see so it's still in that area. Now hit three for right view. Cool, so it's still in front of the face. So it is where the cheek would be. Because so when I hit three for, for uh, three for right view, this is the front now, this left side here. So one for front view. There we go. I'm going to smooth this out. Smooth, smooth jazz. Here's the materials on menu already open in the properties panel. I'm going to click on new. Now I'm going to call this one red. Red. And let's make it red. Go to the reds. Make a bright red. There we go. Reflective, shiny. Oops. Hold on the left mouse button. Drag over to the right. There we go. Now that's red. I'm going to make a duplicate for the other side. First I meant the Z key for the wireframe. That way I could see it. Let's do the duplicate. I'm going to do Shift D just once. Just briefly. Hold down Shift and then D. Then release. See I got a duplicate there. I can try to place it just right on there. I can try to eyeball it. I haven't noticed I haven't left clicked yet. I haven't right clicked. So you do shift and then just move your mouse. So don't click yet. Because once you left click, you drop it. So I'm at the X key. Snaps it to the X axis. There we go. Bam. We make another duplicate just so I can show you guys something. Shift D. If you left click and you want to get it again, just right click it. Hit G for grab and you can pick it up again. I'm going to get rid of that one. X delete. There we go. See for solid view. See, there we go. That's where my cheeks would be. Set for top view. Everything looks good there. Z, one for front view. Here we go. So I'm going to join both of these so they become one object. Hold down the shift key and right click each cheek. Make sure you do not select the head, just the cheeks here. They should, they should be the only ones with the glow around it, not, not the head. All right. I'm going to join these with control J. Hold down control and then J. Then release. Now they're one object. Now I'm going to go over here to the properties panel again. And go to modifier, which is the wrench, the wrench icon. There's modifier and add modifier. And let's go over to a Boolean. Boolean, 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 whatever you want to call that. All right, leave that as intersect. And then right here, I'm going to go to the sampler. And I'm going to sample the head right here. It's a little pipe it, little eyedropper, whatever you want to call it. You left click it, then you bring it over here. You're going to sample the head. Make sure you do not get the cheeks. You're going to get the head right here. Left click it. There we go. See, there you go. Deleted that other part of it. You can hit apply to commit to it. Cool. One for front view. Uh, it's kind of like halfway in there, so we're going to have to pull it out. So three for right view. And this green one right here, you can just move it forward to the, to the, hold down the left mouse button on the green arrow, the way axis, and move it forward a little bit to the left. There we go. See, now it's in the front. Now it doesn't look weird like that anymore. Set for top view. There we go. See? Cool. Now we'll do the similar process for the eyes. Z for wireframe. Uh, the cheeks are kind of off, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it looks like it. So this will be your version of Pikachu. All right. So now I'm going to make the eyes. The eyes are right here. I'm going to left click right there. See for a solid view. Shift A. Mesh UV sphere. Cool. Smooth that one out. I'm not going to color yet because then it'll be harder to see. I'm going to Z for the wireframe. S for scale. And get it about the size of that eyeball right there. G for grab. There we go. Z for solid view. And the eye is kind of in there already. That's where the eye would typically be. So three for right view, seven for top view, one for front view. This is all on the number pad. Remember to always have a number lock on, on your number pad. All right. So now I'll color it black. So go to materials here. New. And I'm going to call this one black. Then you create a black material. 
Ooh, my diffuse is hidden, so expand it there, there we go. Just go inside the white round the right single below diffuse, left click in there, and then the value, this one right here, bring it all the way up, it's gonna make your color bright. If you bring it all the way down, it's gonna make it black. It's gonna will darken your color. But if you go the way all the way down with any color, it's gonna make them all black. All right, so there's my eyeball. Z for solid view, my eyeball still selected. I'm gonna make a duplicate, so I'm gonna do Shift D and then X. Move my mouse to the left and then left click. So here we go, Shift D, X, move my mouse to the left. And once you get the position right, left click, boom, there we go. See for solid view, looks good there. I'm just pushing down the mouse wheel, moving around. Cool. If you want the eyeballs to uh, protrude like that, you can leave it like that. But if you want to go with this appearance like the cheeks here, you can join them. I'll hold on the shift key, right click the other eyeball. I already had that one selected. So if you hold on shift and then select things, you'll be able to multi-select. And that's true with, um, I think, any uh, computer software that allows for multi-selection. All right, so there they are. I'm gonna join them, Control J. Boom, now they're one object. I'm gonna go over to the modifier again. Modifier, add modifier, Boolean. Uh, intersect, leave that alone. And sample, I'm gonna sample the head again. Left click the little eyedropper. Bring it over here, sample the head, and left click there. There we go, that's the name of that sphere. And then, uh, well, I'll show you guys something else. If you don't like how it looks here, you can actually pull it back and forth, see? You can see how much of that would get cut. So you're actually pulling the sphere, even though it doesn't show you the whole sphere. I'm just gonna leave it as I was. Control Z. See for solid view. There we go. Then I'm gonna hit apply. Because once you hit apply, you gotta commit to it. Apply. And then, oh, my sample disappeared. Let me sample that again. I went too far back with the Control Z. There we go. I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna hit apply. There we go. So now it's done. Three for right view. And I'm gonna use the green arrow widget here. Hold on the left mouse button on it. Move it to the left. There we go, just stick them out. There we go. There we go, cool. That's still, you can still see some yellow in there, so I'll pull it out some more. Here's the green one. Just a tad. Oops, three for right view. And let's take it out. Kind of hard. Let's see, let's zoom in. Decimal key, zoom in center. Spin the wheel. I can do uh, Z key for wireframe. That's good. I can do G and Y. And then I can snap it to, the, to that axis. G for grab, and then Y to grab along the Y axis. I'm okay with that one for front view, seven top view, cool, zoom out. All right, so now I'm gonna make the nose here. <clears throat> so just left click somewhere in the middle of your uh, Pikachu here, P uh, Pikachu head, shift A, mesh, and we'll use, uh, let's go with the cone to make the nose. Z for the wireframe, kind of looks like a cone. All right, we're gonna rotate this, so we're gonna hit R. Then 180, enter. Move the mouse away from it. Hit S for scale. And move the mouse inward. And S right there. Decimal key. Zoom in. Z for wireframe. There's a nose. All right. I'm going to hit the tab key for edit mode. Right click the bottom here. G for grab. And just pull it up. Hit Z. Lock it to the Z frame. There we go. That looks pretty good there. Oh, left click. There we go. All right. See for solid view. Let's zoom out, zoom out. Hit the A key to select all. A key again. And that seems to be the center edge right there. Line it up with that one. Not necessarily the um, background image. Tab key for solid view. Z for, uh, sorry, tab key for object mode. Z key for solid view. I'm going to color this black. First, I'm going to smooth it out. Smooth. And go over here to materials. Materials icon. I can just click on this icon here. Give him a black material. Let's see, there's black right there. And I actually re uploaded another file because my other one crashed. Gotta make this one again so it doesn't have any names on it. There we go, black. Three for right view. Nose is right there. Sticks out a lot. So I'm gonna hit uh, Z for wireframe. I'm gonna scale it down along the Y. So I'm gonna do S and then Y. Pull the mouse inward. There we go. D for solid view. There's my nose. Cool. Let's get a good nose. Just holding down the mouse wheel, moving the mouse around. Off in front view. Bigga, bigga. There we go. So I'm going to make an ear. I can use a cylinder or a sphere. I think I'll get a better uh, look if I use a, a sphere to make the ear. So I'm going to left click up there. Shift A. Mesh. And I'm going to go with UV sphere. There we go. 
S for scale, G for gram, make it about the same thickness as the center part of the ear, the thickest part there. Let's see right there, G for gram, that looks good. And uh, this ear is kind of long, so I'm going to scale it up along the Z. Later I'm going to rotate it, so I'm going to S and then Z. And pull that, that looks good right there. Then R for rotate. There we go, G for grab, try to adjust it in there. Then I'm going to take that to edit mode, tack you for edit mode, there we go. That's the key on the number pad to zoom in center. Here we go, Z for wireframe, all right. I'm going to right click this here at the end, G for grab, that pulls out all weird. I'm going to activate the uh, proportional editing tool again. There we go. G for grab. Pull that out. It's a little neater. Let's see. Left click right there. And then G again. Spin the wheel to make the circle smaller. And then pull the mouse. Let's see. Remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like your your uh, Pikachu. Kind of, we're tracing it, but we're also kind of using it as reference. So as long as the overall appearance is there. All right, I want to make this part go inside the head here. So right click that tip there. There we go, I got it. Keep for grab. Oop, let me make this bigger, spin the wheel. Move the mouse inward, spin the wheel. And that looks pretty good. Left click in there, cool, with the side of it. All right, see for solid view. Cool, see there we go. Now to color this yellow, I can just select my existing material from the materials list here. So to the left of new, just click on that material icon right there. There we go, there's my yellow. Let me rename this bad boy here. Widen this up. Yellow. All right. Now I gotta, I gotta draw an edge here, create an edge, so I can separate the uh, the faces. Faces are little re uh, rectangles here. So I can color that other area of black. So I'm gonna A to deselect. C for the wireframe. All right, I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I can start down there, but it's easier if I just lock onto a uh, an edge, sorry, a vertex. So actually, I'll start here, then I'll go up to a vertex there. So make K, activate on the mic tool. So you got a little scalpel. I'm gonna left click the bottom here until I get a green square with the red square around it. So a green little box with the red perimeter, and then left click and move it up here somewhere. Let's go up there. I'm gonna get the red box. If you get the red box, the red highlight, the red perimeter, that's letting you know you're on a vertex. And left click there again. Cool. And then I'm going to deactivate this and commit to that cut there by hitting the enter key. There we go. Now I'm going to go over to the other side. So I'm going to hit 9 on the number pad. So 9 gives you the opposite view of whatever view you're on. And this cut should be on this side over here. So I'm hit K. And there we go. Left click. And move up here. Connect to another vertex. Left click. Enter. There we go. Z for solid view. Cool. So that's the cut I just made right here. And then on the front should be that other cut there. There we go. Now I'm going to select these faces here. So the easiest way to probably do that is switch over to face selection. Then Z for the wireframe. Cool. Then B for, uh, sorry, C for circle selection. So you know my course has a little circle on it. Just left click hold and drag across the area right here at the end. The tip of the ear for selection. We're going to make this black. So notice my cut's not exactly on there. Doesn't have to be exactly like that. You don't have to show your people, uh, you don't have to show uh, your audience the end result. The, the, uh, your reference, you can just show them the end result. Cool, that looks good right there. Z for solid view. Now to get the black one, I'm gonna hit the plus sign up here for a new material. So don't change it there, it's gonna make everything that color. The plus sign first, and then you can go down here. Now you have another material. You can make it black, there we go. Assign, boom. A to D select, there's my ear. And I'm gonna adjust my ear uh, in place in object mode, tap key for object mode. It's kind of rough, so let's move that out. Smooth, cool. Three for right view, and I'm just gonna use the green arrow widget here. Hold down the left mouse button at the tip, and then drag it to the left. Yeah, it looks good. One for front view, cool. Control, hold on, control key, spin the wheel. The mouse, I can pan left and right. Make a duplicate of this. Shift D, and just move it up here. And I gotta rotate it, um, but I need to rotate on the, the Z axis. So that that tip points out that or points out in the other direction to the left. So I'm at R, then Z, so I can snap my rotation to the Z, and it's going to be a 180 degree turn. 180 enter. So that's R, Z, 180 enter. Just punch them in. So G for gram, just this in place. Cool. There we go. And then later, actually you can do that right now. R for rotate, 
and you can um, adjust it to look like the other ear in your in your drawing <clears throat> or however, whichever one you're tracing. Remember you want to probably if possible if your ear is just directly a horizontal you get a horizontal ear on your Pikachu that's even better. So remember you want the T-pose for modeling and for creating armatures. You want to go with the T-pose. makes it a lot easier. Alright so now I gotta make this body here. Well that also looks like a sphere. I'm gonna left click down here Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. All right, G for grab, try to put it in the centermost area. I think it already was in there. S for scale, pull the mouse out. That looks good there. And smooth that out. And I guess I can make a yellow now. Materials icon, yellow, there we go. And I'm gonna take this to edit mode so I can reformat the sphere so I can make the, uh, the legs or hips right here. All right, tab key, A to D select, and vertex selection right here. Go back to vertex selection. I'm gonna try to uh, select one of the vertices here exactly on the right. So I'm at three for right view. So I'm three for right view. Here's the um, the rightmost uh, edge. I'm gonna right click this vertex right here. So get one of the ones in the bottom of the middle edge here. The uh, middle vertical edge from right view. One from front view. Cool. And then make sure that's on. I'm a G for grab, pull it down, see? Unspin the wheel on the mouse, make it bigger. There we go, there we go. Cool. Left click there. Z for wireframe, see? Look, the mass is almost perfect. Cool. Z for solid view. So I want to get this view here, so I'm at three for right view. Then nine for the opposite view. We go back to one front view. I can also do a shift and then three on the number pad. Oops, what happened there? Oh sorry, control and then three on the number pad. Then I get the other view. Alright, so it looks like it was this vertex here that I selected. Here's the middle one. One for front view. Oops, one for front view. Zoom out. G for grab again. And just pull it down. There we go. Z for the wireframe. Cool. And if you want to pull this part up, you can. So I'm going to hold on the shift key, spin the wheel. I'm going to try to zoom in there. A to D select. Right click the center part here. And then G for grab. And then Z to snap it to the Z axis, pull it up. There we go. Z for solid view. Now the whole thing is a little bit off, so you can hit A a couple times, select all, and bring it down. There we go. Portion editing tool kind of put an effect there, but that's okay. All right, so now I can make this top part here. So I'm gonna select. The, let's go with this edge right here. Actually, this one. We'll go with this one. A to D, select. Hold down the alternate key and right click on the actual edge, which is the flat line, not the dot, the one that goes left and right. All right, and S for scale. Let's see what happens if I pull it out. It's too much. Let me uh, reduce the circle. All right, now I'll pull out. Let's see, the circle bigger. No, nope. looking good. I don't want the sharp corners, so I'll reduce it to right there. I'm gonna try pulling this one up over here. Let's try this one up here. Let me zoom in. A to D select. Hold on the alternate key, and I'm gonna right click this bad boy here. Remember to get the horizontal edge, not the vertex. S for scale and pull it out. There we go. Spin the wheel. There we go. It's looking better. A to D select. I'm going to try to get this one here. So what I did, I pushed down the mouse wheel. And while I was holding it down, I moved the mouse. I pulled the mouse down. I'm going to right click this one here. A to D select. Pull on the alternate key and you'll right click the edge. There we go. One for front view. S for scale. Move the mouse out. Spin the wheel. Let's see, there we go. Maybe I could also just add more edges. So I'll add another edge in here. So I'm gonna right click this one here. I'm gonna pull this up. One for front view. And so I selected the center one. I held on the left mouse button on the blue arrow and I pulled it up. I'm gonna add another edge in there. So I'm gonna do control R. Oh no, I can't get one in there. Add one in there, so I'll do that. So I'll left click right there. Cool. So Control R allows for uh, edge selection. Sorry, it, it al allows you to create a loop cut. We got a whole other edge here. Left click again to commit to that cut. There we go. A to D select. Hold on the ultra key, right click this one. Pull it up. There we go. S for scale. Left click. Let me make this one wider. A D select. Hold on the ultra key. So right click this one. S for scale. Oops. Make this. Make that smaller. Pull out. Smaller, smaller. 
Okay, deselect. Let's make this one lighter here. That's for scale. That's what I'm going to get it this time. There we go. Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, like we can spend all time trying to get that perfect. All right. So I'm going to hit the tacky for object mode. There's our body. Three for right view. And we're going to hide that anyways. So here's three in right view. Use the green one to pull it back. There we go. One for front view. Deeper wireframe. See? There we go. And it doesn't really taper the same there, but hey, there we go. No one's going to notice. They don't got to see the reference. They just got to see the final work. They'll be like, damn, bro, you made Pikachu? Freaking awesome. All right, let's make these feet here. Those look really easy to make. I'm just like, uh, some spheres, we're going to flatten down. So left click in there. Shift A. Mesh. UV sphere. Cool. Move the mouse away as for scale. Bring it down. There we go. Three for right view. I want to scale it down along the, the Z. S, Z, pull it down. There we go. Set for top view. Let's make it a little uh, uh, thinner and longer. So I'm at S and X. Move inward. There we go. Actually, I don't think I need to make it longer. It just needs to look like it's long. There we go. I'm going to smooth that out. And I'm going to go over here and select my yellow there. To the left of new. Well, there is G for grab. It's in there somewhere. There we go. Set for top view. Ready for right view. Bring it back. And from here I'm gonna hit R for rotate so I can tilt it down a little bit. There we go. Make sure it goes into your match somewhat. Cool. And I'm gonna duplicate this one. Put it over here. And now I'm gonna rotate it out so it sticks out. So here one for front view on the number pad, then shift D, then X. Stab it to the next axis, move it to the left. And right there looks good. Stand for top view. I actually can't even see it from here. It's easy for wireframe. So from one for front view, hit A a couple times. And we kind of see the, the top of it here like that. Then hit R and Z, zap it to the Z axis, and just slightly move it out to the left a little bit. There you go. Same thing with this one. Right click, R, Z, move it out. There we go. This gangster pose. <clears throat> looking good, looking good. Now let's make the arms. Z for wireframe. So the arms are about that big. All right, so I'm gonna left click right here. Shift A, mesh, UV sphere. Cool. Z for wireframe. S for scale. Move it down. G for grab. Put it here. All right, so that's about the same thickness there. So now I'm gonna S and the Z make it longer. And we don't gotta make the fingers. R for rotate. Uh, about the same length. Yeah. Let's control Z, put it back in the other look position. Make it a little bit longer just in case. S and Z. There we go. R for rotate. C for solid view. There we go. C smooth. You go over here to the left of new materials icon. So like yellow. There we go. Ready for right view. I can even rotate it here. Just this arm in place. C for grab, put it up there. Three, there we go. Set for top view. Looks like it's in there. Make it create a create a duplicate. Shift D. Move it over to the left. Put it there. Maybe I'll make them wave. R for rotate. You know, G for grab. Put his arm up there. So I'm gonna do uh, Control Three for left view. And pull his arm back. And go one for front view. It's in place. Set for top view. D for wireframes. So his arm's back there. Connects back there. So connects over here. It's kind of like you shifted his shoulder, but it's okay. Then for top view, one for front view. No one can tell. No one has to know. All right, we're almost done. Let's just make this tail. That's gonna be easy. If you look at it, it's really sh has all these sharp corners. Everything else, I think it shoots smooth. So this one's gonna be a cube. So I'm gonna left click uh, right here. Shift A, mesh cube. There we go. I got this big cube. S for scale. Get it to about the size of that. S for scale. You can just eyeball it, G for grab, move it over, and let's see, put it right there, left click. Let's, we can leave it right there. That's the key to zoom and center into it, cool. So this cube, it's probably gonna look thicker from, really thick from all sides, so I three for right view. Yeah, so it looks pretty thick there, so let's, uh, let's cut that in half. So I'm gonna do S, Y, 0.5, enter, there you go. So we actually did, sorry, we didn't cut it in half, we just scaled it down in half. Is that thin enough for a tail? It's still kind of thick. Control Z, let's do S, Y, 0.2, enter. There we go, that looks a little thinner, a little better. I right, went for front view, all right. 
I'm going to take this into uh, edit mode. So tap key for edit mode. There we go. We can actually do hit R for rotate. Actually, no, don't hit R for rotate. Z for wireframe. A to deselect. And then border select the corner here. So make sure you have the wireframe on. Then border select the corner. G for grab. And put that there. And we got to turn this off. We have to disable this. Disable. It's going to mess us up. We'll take that away. Make sure to disable your proportional editing tool. A to deselect. Border select this here. Oops, missed it. Border select that there. G for grab, and it's gonna go way back over here behind Pikachu somewhere. There we go. A D select. A D select. B border select that. G for grab, and it's gonna go way over there. Let's see. There we go. Let's have it go towards the center back there in the back. A D select. Border select this one. G for grab, and right there is good. So this one I'm gonna try to line it up with that. A D select. B border select that. G for grab. Right there. Alright. So I'm gonna use the loop select tool so I can add another edge. I'm gonna put it right here. And we can start extruding up from there. So I'm gonna hover over the the horizontal lines. Do control R. Cool. See there's my uh, other edge. I'm gonna left click once and then move it over to the left. And then left click again once you get there. There I am. Cool. Zoom in. A, D, select, and border select the top here. Cool, so I'm gonna extrude this face here. See, there's a face right there. One from front view. E to extrude, and just pull it all the way up. There we go, G for grab, and put that corner in that other corner there. Corner of your uh, of your extrusion with that other corner, A, D, select. E, border select that bad boy there, G for grab. And right there looks good. And I'm gonna do with a similar process. I'm gonna add a loop cut here, and then extrude all the way over there to that corner. All right, so now I'm gonna go hover over the, the vertical edges here. Control R, boom, loops like there, left click, and move it right there. There we go. Left click there again, AD select, and then border select this right side here. And extrude out from here. And that's good right there. AD select, oh, maybe a little bit more, cheaper grab. Cheaper grab, and I can just bring it down there. There we go. Zoom out. AD select, D border select, bring this one up so it lines up with that. G for grab. There we go. That looks good. Remember to do all of this in front of you. So one on the shift key, spin the wheel, go up. Cool. Add another loop cut there. Over over the horizontal edges. Control R. Left click, move mouse over to that position. Left click. There we go. AD select. And border select these. Oops, missed them. Border select those there. Really I missed that one? There we go, border select. All this time I thought I was a great border selector. All right, E extrude, go all the way up, left click there, G for grab, connect to that corner. There we go. So you can see this one kind of uh, gets round here. It's all right. A D select, B border select, G for grab, bam, and add another cut in there. Control R, left click once, move it down, left click there again. Hold on, Control, spin the wheel. Cool. And I can finish it off here. A D select. And border select this whole right side here. Just uh, these four vertices. I know it looks like uh, just two vertices there, but there's four of the two in the front here, and the two be directly behind those. E to extrude, I'm G for grab. Oops, not not that not that way. Left click, control Z. E to extrude, move out, left click, and G for grab. And we get that corner. There we go. A D select. Oops, A D select. Border select this bottom part here. G for grab and place it down there. There we go. So we're still not done. We still gotta do the coloring. Z for solid view. All right. I'm gonna go over here. Click on the materials icon. Go to yellow. You gonna make the whole thing yellow. Then I gotta draw the um, little sharp corners there for the, the tail. For the other part on the tail. Z for wireframe. A D select. I'm gonna right click this one here. And then decimal key. And then zoom into it. There we go. So I'm gonna use the the knife, the knife tool again. Is a knife, okay? And I'll, so I'll go right here on this edge. You want the edge to be glowing. Left click, go up. Left click there, then go down. Left click there, go up. Left click there, down. Left click, up. Left click, down. Left click, up. Left click, and then enter. There we go. I got my cuts. On one side, let me get the opposite side, so I'm at 9 for the back view. And I'll just do the same cuts here. K again. 
and go down there, left click, left click, left click, left click. So in a way I'm just tracing over the um, the one that's on the other side, left click, left click, enter, be for solid view, make sure it's only on this side, none of it went all the way through, cool. Now I gotta connect these here, so I'm gonna left click that one, and left click that one, and hit F for fill, see, adds an edge in there. Hold on the mouse wheel, trying to get the other one here. Right click that one. Hold on the shift key, right click the other one. F for fill. Cool, got an edge in there. One for front view. Face selection. And then Z for the wireframe. And then C for circle select. And I'm just gonna left click, hold, and drag across these faces here. So you right click to turn it off, I guess. This is not selecting. Hold on shift key, right click. There we go. All right, Z for solid view. I guess I'll do it in solid view. Hold on the shift key, right click, shift key, right click. I right, separate those there. Shift key, right click, right click. Oh, uh, look at that. It didn't create a two face. Well, it's okay. I'm just going to notice that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Somebody said something about that. They're a hater. I'll tell you what. They're a hater. Anybody hating on that? True hater. True hater for real. Ask Puff Daddy. See how that song goes? Maybe I shouldn't be uh, singing. These uh, music companies might come after me. All right, plus sign, materials. Oh, we don't have a brown, huh? So new, and then call this one brown. And spell brown. There we go. Let's click inside the fuse. Go to the red and oranges, and then bring the value down towards the middle. You can darken that color up. Cool, that's a good brown. A sign. There we go. Tap key for object mode. There's my tiles. Got to put in the back three for right view. And I'm just gonna pull that back. There we go. Seven for top view. Looks like it's on there. One for front view. Three for right view. Cool, cool. You want to see the back of it? So that's gonna be Control One or One and then Nine. There we go. Go cool. attach to my Pikachu. All right. I'm gonna hide that picture in the background. So all it kind of works with the shadow there, huh? And for Nancy, and just close the eye right there. I buy NSA and for Nancy and there you have it folks how to make a Pikachu Pika Pika oh wait you probably want to join them right you don't want to lose all your stuff let's see so you're gonna hold on the shift key and right click all the individual parts of your Pikachu all right so the eyes were one part the the red cheeks the the nose the ear each ear each each limb and the torso and then control J there we go. There we go. Gotta catch them all. That's I best start catching some subscribers. So please subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day. Thank you.